Hey everyone, welcome. Uh, this is me doing uh, some of my Street Fighter V uh, story videos. Today we're going to go with the two last DLC characters, uh, Colin um, and Ed. So we open up uh, where Colin is right here uh, reading uh, her book. Um, I get the feeling, um, and uh, Ed's story kind of confirms it, um, I definitely get the feeling that um, these take place after the uh, the shadow of a uh, shadow falls um, story. In fact, if you look at the PlayStation Store, that has been changed to um, it used to say a um, Shadows Fall um, Street Fighter uh, Five story expansion. Now. Uh, the description has, I'm sorry, it didn't say expansion, it said story mode. Um, now, it no longer says mode, and it says cinematic expansion. Um, there have been rumors, and someone who apparently data mined uh, the uh, last update said that they found both dramatic battle, and they found... Um, both dramatic battle and um, a, a second season of story mode uh, in there. Now, dramatic battle, I'm very interested to see, um, probably because, um, not dramatic battle, what am I saying dramatic battle? Dramatic battle would be awesome. Dramatic battle is two on one. Um, uh, no, 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 not dramatic battle. Um, uh, what, what the hell is the word I'm looking for? Endless, endless battle. Um, that's what I was looking for, where it's supposed to be like a boss rush mode or something. So, um, yeah, so apparently they found that in the, uh, last update. The same people who leaked, uh, when all the new stage transitions came in. So, um, that should be there. And also a second season of story mode, which, you know, there's supposed to be five seasons of this game. I know Ono's eventual plan is for there to be more characters in Street Fighter V than there were in Street Fighter IV, and I am all cool with that. Um, so, you know, basically... Um, oh, so we're fighting Guile now, by the way. Uh, you know, so basically... Um, they... Uh, you know, they're gonna do, like, five story modes, hopefully. Which would be really cool, because... Um, you know, with all the new characters coming in and stuff, we kind of need to, uh, you know, to know what's, uh, what's going on. Uh, I am, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so basically, um, you know, uh, we would be getting a story mode that would kind of show what happened to Ed and what happened to Colin and what happened to all them afterwards. Um, you know, I know there's some people who are like, oh, well, they should dive into Street Fighter 3 now, but that's stupid because there's so... Ooh, I got fight money. My fight money! But, um... You know, there's so much in there. Um... Uh, one second... Ooh, I am getting messages uh, as we speak. All right, there we go. Um, but yeah, so basically, and that's Taylor. I really hope Taylor isn't um, one of the characters. Although I will tell you, I would prefer Taylor over Abigail. There have been rumors that Abigail from Final Fucking Fight is one of the characters, and that would just be lame. Um, you know... Uh, uh do, 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 sorry. Yeah, I know I'm trying to be entertaining, but I'm also trying to answer some uh, viewer mail. But, um, but yeah, basically, um, so this is Colin's, uh, you know, story. It appears it's basically just her reflecting back on the war that, um, made her, like, kind of an, a, uh, a vagabond, not vagabond, whatever the term would be, um, you know, where she kind of just roams about, um, 
you know, uh, so here is, you know, if you, if you watch, if you, you haven't seen up until this point, if you don't know who she's going to run into, then you should stop this video and go watch or go play even better. A shadow falls. Um, cause she's going to run into Gil and Gil is the boss of street fighter three. If you were unaware of it. Um, and Colin, uh, when you play street fighter three, before you fight him, um, she comes out and greets you, um, holding that book that she was reading there. This, uh, for those unaware, you know, um, this happens between street fighter, uh, well, this is between street fighter four and three, which is also, uh, between, so basically the order of the games is, uh, street fighter, street fighter alpha one, I think street fighter alpha two, um, uh, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 5, and then Street Fighter 3. Um, it's really not as confusing as you may think it is. But, um, you know, uh, I guess you've woken up. that's pretty much what, um, you know, is happening in her story. Uh, basically, you? you know, she's kind of Gil's devout follower and stuff. Um, you know, uh... And her face was changed from story mode. Um, I tend to believe it had to do with the uh, little magic he worked on her at the very end of the story. But I could be wrong. Or, you know. So, <clears throat> that is Colin's story mode. Um, but, um... You know, so now we're going to do Ed's story mode. Um, Ed was just released uh, this week. Um, Ed, you know, Ed, if you remember, uh, if you've played Street Fighter 4, was a little kid and he was rescued in Balrog's endings. Um, and he was part of the uh, clone bodies that Bison was growing. Because uh, Bison, it's one of the reasons why Bison has been in so many games, because Bison... Uh, grows new bodies um, and can jump into them whenever he needs to. So apparently it looks like him and Balrog are even sharing a room somewhere. Um, I'm not quite sure where this is exactly. But, um, you know, I do like that they also kind of just illustrated the accelerated growth his body goes through because Ed is a teenager in, the, uh, the sh in a Shadow Falls. And um, he was a little kid. I think this is uh, only like two or three years ago. Um, so he ages, it, I would assume, maybe six years per, per year or whatever. Um, I mean, right there, he still looks like... Um, All right. Let me just do this. Do, 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 do. All right. That's weird. All right, so uh, sorry about that. Okay, now here is this new uh, Egyptian or fortune teller or whatever type character she is. Um, what's interesting about her is that I get the feeling, and a lot of people get the feeling, so it's not like I am the originator of this thought, but um, basically. Uh, you know, uh, she is, a lot of people think that she's the fourth silhouette out of the six silhouettes that they show. Let's say the fifth silhouette out of the, uh, the fourth one is the one that people think is Abigail. And I certainly hope it isn't Abigail because that's a lame fucking choice. Um, you know, but uh, she would be interesting. I mean, I like her design. I think, I'll tell you, it's one thing about Street Fighter V is, um, you know, Street Fighter Two had some awesome designs. And then Street Fighter 3 had just some of the blandest, worst designs, like Oro and Sean. And, you know, I mean, it had some cool designs, too. Like, Gil looks cool. 
and Remy looks cool, but um, for the most part, like, just, you know, like, what the fuck is going on with Necro, you know? Um, uh, you know, so, I mean, there's basically, like, all sorts of, uh, you know, things. And then in Street Fighter Four. They went just nuts with the, uh, the, you know, and made some of their, I, some of them were so friggin' goofy, like, El Forte, who's supposed to be Rey Mysterio, and Hakan, and it's just like, what the fuck was going on with those? Like, I don't even know. There was just some weirdness with them, and uh, just awful, awful designs. The only two good designs from that game, um, well, I guess Goken isn't really that bad of a design either, but... Um, the only really good designs are Jury and uh, Crimson Viper. Otherwise, it's just like a big ol' shit show, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, you know, I don't like who like Rufus. Jesus Christ! All right, so here I am. I'm, you know, my just a fucking mass of muscle fighting the ghost of Bison, and um, you know, so it's uh, it's interesting that they're using one of the uh, the stages from the story mode. Um, I kind of, like, when I see this sort of thing, I kind of wish these stages would become, um, selectable. Like, I would really like to be able to play on, like, these, you know, Shadowloo base ones like that. I would even like it if, say, they did something crazy, like, um, you know, a stage transition. Um, say, for example, on the Shadowloo base stage, um, ooh, he's, he's kind of, he's kind of fun to play. Um, thing about Ed is you don't use, um, controller... Uh, you don't use, uh, you know, directional inputs. You just kind of, you charge or you press uh, two buttons at once or something like that. And, uh, you know, it's it's kind of interesting to do that. I got more fight money! So, you know, um, I don't know. I am, uh, I, I'm looking forward to getting to play him a little more and getting to uh, show people, um, you know... Uh, I, I hope he has more than one fight. I kind of didn't like that Colin only had one fight here. Um, let's see. So, when you finish growing up, the you that you are will cease to be. So, I don't know. That's um, that's kind of cryptic. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I'm just... Wouldn't it be crazy if he turned out to be Q or something like that? That just occurred to me right now. Anyway, so... I had a couple things I was thinking of. Okay, so fighting Balrog here, it looks like. Or at least Balrog's going to console me or something. But um, the thing that I keep thinking of is, uh, you know, we've been asking for arcade mode for the longest friggin' time. And uh, I'm sure, you know, Capcom can't go forever without giving us an arcade mode. That's just be fucking ridiculous. Um, but the only thing I keep thinking to myself is that... Um, what if, um, well, two, two things about arcade mode. What if uh, Endless Battle um, is what arcade mode is now? And so we get arcade mode and they throw in the dolls as un unplayable mini bosses. Um, you know, and we fight like, I don't know, like a super power. We fight like, you know, Shinakuma or, Nik or you know, Shinakami, you know, a, a Nikali with like his... Um, uh, oh, there you go, see? The Collie with his V-Trigger going on, like, the whole fight or something like that, you know, as, like, hidden bosses. And we fight, like, say, Bison and Urien um, as uh, the bosses before that, you know, as the final boss. And that's one idea I had. And the other idea I had was um, <clears throat> Karen, during her story mode, talks about um, she's... The Kanzuki uh, Zenbatsu, whatever the fuck she's part of, is um, setting up um, a fighting tournament. Uh, man, he is nasty. Um, setting up a fighting tournament. And, um, you know, it would be kind of interesting if that fighting tournament is arcade mode. You know, or endless battle, whatever, whatever you want to call it. So, I don't know. That'd be kind of neat if... Uh, they kind of work that into the story as to, you know, why there's like a ladder mode. Oh, man. I guess Balrog's kind of hurt that you fought him, which is understandable. I mean, he raised Ed from like when Ed was, you know, like a a, a little, you know, a, a child like it last
you know, as I was saying, Bog's been a dick most of the time, so, you know, him kind of learning to love and be good is, uh, uh, you know, I can understand why he'd be hurt with Ed would turn against him like that, so, you know, um, so, ah, there's Ed in his story mode effort with a gorilla, and that looks like Cammy to me, um, I know some people think that's a new character, but that looks like Cammy. I don't know, so, I don't know, I guess we'll see if they do do a second season story mode, um, I'm looking forward to it, and I certainly hope they do one, so, anyway, uh, that is our video, I want to thank you for watching, and, uh, please subscribe, because, uh, more you subscribe, the more I can do, all right.